This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hello, pet parents, and welcome to Best Buds for Pets. So, have you ever thought about, and I'm sure you have if you have a pet, what kind of food your dog is eating? Because we're talking about the canines this time. And is it healthy? And what's in it? Well, my next guest thought about all of this. And actually, you know, this is from the kitchen and on kind of situation. She actually created amazing food. And I'm excited to share her story with you. We'll be right back. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to introduce Katie Smith. She is the creator and COO of New Road Foods. So welcome to Best Buds for Pets. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, as you mentioned, my name is Katie Smith, and I am one of the co-founders and the COO at New Road Foods. My dad, it's a family business, so my dad's the CEO, so that can be a little interchangeable at times. But yeah, so we have developed the pet care industry's first clean kibble, which means that all of the ingredients we use are 100% human grade, and we bake everything to order, meaning we don't make anything until we know that a new customer is ready for their first order or an existing customer is ready for a fresh batch of food. And this is pretty revolutionary in the pet food industry. Most pet foods are designed with feed grade ingredients, um, which are unfit for human consumption. Ours are fit for human consumption, meaning, you know, I've got two little kids. If they somehow go over to the dog bowl and put a kibble in their mouth, I'm not going to freak out because I know that it's as clean and safe as the other foods that I would feed them. And then the other thing that's really interesting about our business is we bake everything fresh. So we don't formulate our products so they can sit on shelves, you know, for months at a time. We bake them and ship them out that day. So it's more like a fresh cookie from the bakery versus a cook, a packaged cookie you would buy kind of in the middle of the grocery store aisle. Now, that answers my question of what makes it different from the other foods, because like you said, it's revolutionary to have kind of cook to order food for your pet. Right. That just right. is kind of rare. What, how did you start? So my dad, my dad and I own the business together. My dad has a very long background in the pet food industry, developing formulas. So we knew going in, you know, we had the expertise on the product development side to know exactly where we needed to be in terms of analyticals. We knew which amino acids we needed. We knew what we needed to make a complete and balanced dog food from a very sophisticated standpoint. What we didn't know was how we were going to make it. Um, We knew we didn't want to make it the way that most pet foods are made. Um, So what we did was um, we actually, we basically made a cookie dough and put it into a pasta maker and started making dog pasta essentially. And what that does for us is it allows us to use a cold form process And that was something that was really important to us. And then the other thing that was really important was um, we wanted to use really a low pressure system and something that we didn't have to use a lot of heat to cook with. So it kind of started with me in my kitchen using a, you know, like a bench top pasta maker, making really small batches and baking them in my oven using all the things I had just gotten, you know, as wedding gifts, kind of 
turning them into dog food product development devices. Um, from there, once we, um, or once I kind of got really honed in on the ingredients and kind of the process, we scaled to a small commercial kitchen and just kept doing a lot more development, a lot more testing. And now we're in a large commercial kitchen with big rotating rack ovens. We have industrial size pasta machines, but it's still the same concept of when, you know, I was developing it in my kitchen with my three dogs looking up at me with adoration, hoping they'd, they'd get some of the, <laughs> they could be my product testers. And another thing about all of your foods and treats is that they're transparent. And this is a big new trend in the dog food industry, probably cat food too, that mm -hmm. there's transparency, which means, you know, let's tell everything about what the ingredients are, whether it's gluten-free, you know, how much is protein-based, et cetera. And your foods are as well. I mean, you have great, all the card information has extensive detail. So what is the benefit for the pet parent in purchasing, you know, your food that has transparency versus something else? I think there's a lot. I mean, for the most part, the pet industry, I think, intimidates a lot of pet parents. They don't know the ingredients that are going to their foods. They don't know the processes used to make them. They don't know who makes their foods. Transparency has always been a really big part of what we want to keep top of mind for our brand always. So we'll tell you exactly what's going into your food. We'll show you the process. We'll show you us batching up the materials. We'll show them getting mixed in a blender. We'll show them going through the pasta maker, coming in and out of the oven so that you can have a personal connection and can actually see something. And I think what we hope to do with that transparency is really earn the trust of our customers. And I think that's something that's really lacking in the pet industry. There's a lot of noise, but um, pet parents, I think, are having a hard time discerning what brands they can trust and what which brands that may not be worthy of their trust. And I think if with a focus on transparency, we really hope to be that brand that you can trust. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. And then I have a couple more questions on your wonderful and tasty food. We'll be right back. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back. Right after we kibble a little with our sponsors. My dog, Mojo, was half beagle and half coonhound. He ate everything in sight. He would swallow things whole, including a chicken carcass, a bird nest with a bird in it, and assorted stones and sticks. We had to take him to the veterinary emergency room. After surgery, Mojo had skin issues. He was constantly itching and scratching, chewing on his feet, and chewing the hair right off of his legs, being irritated, lethargic, and just not the same dog. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. When we put him on the Dynavite, he took right to it. All of these symptoms disappeared. Dynavite is nutrition. If you want the dog to be healthy, you got to feed it something healthy. Something that he actually likes to eat. You need to put him on Dynavite. Dynavite for life. If you love your dog, you don't just want him healthy, you want him to be happy. You won't believe how happy your dog will be. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Pet Welcome back, everyone. We're talking to Katie Smith. She is the COO of New Road Foods. And we're talking about her human grade dog food that is delicious and very good for your fur kid. So here's my question. If, you know, your food is, it's healthy, it has great ingredients, you know, human grade, all of that. How do you switch, you know, someone that's maybe, you know, someone, your, <laughs> yeah, I think of my kids and my fur kids, they're like someone's, they're my boys, my girls. So how do I switch, say, an older fur babe to your foods, one that is fussy with foods. How would I go about switching them? And I know, you know, besides the obvious of, you know, slowly giving them some of the new with the old and so forth, do you have any suggestions? Something that we always, like you mentioned, the best way is to really kind of take it slow and know that if your dog 
you know, has sensitivities or has maybe a more sensitive digestive system. Something that's great about our foods is because it's fresh, it is really palatable. If you think about a fresh baked cookie, like I mentioned earlier, it's going to be really tasty, but something you don't want to do is a dog who is super eager to eat that. You don't want to give it to them all at once. So like you said, start slow, make sure that it's settling with their system. And then, you know, it really is a, an iterative process. So we say maybe like 25% of the new food, 75% of the old food for a few days, and then kind of ramp it up and um, transition from there. Okay. And I guess what you, you know, what we know, the tried and true way of switching foods still goes and it's still the best way to go, especially for pooches with sensitive stomachs. And that seems to be, I think, even more true for older dogs, at least in my experience, because because my old pooch lets me know when it doesn't work with um, a surprise on the carpet. So we, (laughs) we don't want that. And You have a couple of varieties of food. So let's go through them because I know that, you know, one's grain free and and there's others. What are the different types of foods that you have? So our most popular um, is our multi-grain recipe. And this is just a very tried and true recipe for healthy adult dogs. It's what I've got my dogs on. It's really palatable and it has, it's just a great kind of like workhorse of the recipes. The next most popular one sounds like it would be good for your, for your pup is our healthy aging recipe. And our healthy aging recipe is really targeted to dogs seven and older. So we've got natural antioxidants in there, blueberries and cranberries and green tea. We've got glucosamine in there for joint support, We have a prebiotic in there, which helps with gut health. And then we also have a lot of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, which are really help to support skin and coat condition, which is important as a dog ages as well. Um, We also have a limited ingredient option, which has a unique protein, which is a great option if your dogs have, you know, chicken or beef allergies. And then to kind of round it out, we've got a weight management recipe and then also the grain-free recipe you mentioned. Okay. And are you at some point in the future going to make cat food or you really want to stick with dog food? No, we would love to get into cat food. We actually have a few recipes under development right now and we have some encouraging preliminary results. So cat food is really top of mind for us right now. Yeah, because they're picky. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. And I have a question for you. You say human grade. Have you had any? Oh, yeah. Yes, all the time. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I taste these recipes all the time just because I've known them for, for the past three years. So I taste almost everything that if, when I'm at the kitchen, I taste everything that comes out of the oven because I know how it should taste. Okay. My kids eat it too. It's kind of silly, but yeah. Well, that's good to know. And everyone who wants to try this, we have a great offer for you. It's a limited time. So act fast. So Katie, what is the offer you have for our Best Bets for Pets listeners? So we have created a code, BESTBET, B-E-S-T-B-E-T. And with that code, you will get 50% off your first order. And you can also get 50% off a trial pack, which is um, a way that many people come to our brand. And with a trial pack, you get a pound of the recipe of your choice, plus our protein chips, which are just chicken and coconut oil. They're super palatable. Um, But yeah, with that code, BESTBET, you can get 50% off pretty much anything on our site to try it out. Okay, well, I, on behalf of our listeners, I thank you so much. And I would like to thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets. And another thing I want to ask real quick, where can people find your food, New Road Foods, to order? Sure. Yeah, you would go to newroadfoods.com, N-E-W-R-O-A-D-F-O-O-D-S.com. Okay, wonderful. And again, thank you so much for being on Best Bets for Pets. Thank you for the wonderful offer of Best Bet to all of our listeners. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you so much to my guest, Katie Smith. And remember, great offer here. Best bet for 50% off at newroadfoods.com. You can find out more on the episode page for this show. And thanks to my crew, Nikki and Mr. Z that loved the food. And Mr. Z is picky. You know, he loved it. Thanks to my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guests sound great. And keep listening. You never know what's coming on Best Bets for Pets. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.